wow, the Mets fire sale has officially begun. They've traded closing pitcher David Robertson to the Miami Marlins, one of their division rivals in exchange for two top 20 prospects in the Marlins organization. This is absolutely monumental. The, arguably the best reliever on the trade market has been moved within the NL East. Before we get started, as always, if you could hit that like button, subscribe. This is the place you want to be. Trade deadline content coming every single day. You won't want to miss it. Alrighty, David Robertson. The Mets are not paying any of his remaining three and a half million dollars. He has a 2.05 ERA in 40 games, 14 saves, 44 innings pitched, 48 strikeouts, and a one flat WHIP. This season, Robertson's been absolutely lights out. Last year, he had a 2.7 ERA with Philly and a 2.23 ERA to overall era of 240 between the two teams robertson was a rental signed a one-year deal 10 million dollars i mean for the mets you, i it's it's hard to say i'm a mets fan so i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about that in a minute but we're gonna talk about the return first first up we have it's a pair of rookie ball uh position playing prospects first up we have the 18 year old marco vargas uh, his scouting grades is a 55 hit, 45 power, 45 run, 50 arm, 50 field of an overall 45. This season in rookie ball, he's hitting 283 with a 457 on base percentage in 33 games. He has two home runs. He has 38 uh, walks to only 22 strikeouts. He has almost twice the amount of walks as he does strikeouts. In 53 games, um, in last season, he hit 319 with two bombs, and again, 35 strikeouts to 32 walks, 14 stolen bases. Vargas is probably going to end up shifting over to second base and has absolutely one of the most progressed 18-year-olds that in all of baseball right now. The Mets are also getting the number 21 ranked prospect in the Marlins organization, Ronald Hernandez, a catching prospect. He's 19 years old. He has 50 hit, 40 power, 35 run, 55 arm, 55 field to overall of 45. This season in rookie ball, he's hitting 298 with a 464 on base percentage, 916 OPS. He has three home runs. He's walked 32 strimes and struck out 27. I mean, the Mets just acquired two young, very young rookie ball prospects that walk more than they strike out. I mean, this is absolutely insane that players this young in rookie ball are putting up these sort of numbers. Now, when we talk about a return for the Mets, David Robertson is probably the best reliever available on the trade market outside of, let's say, Josh Hader. So we probably expected a little bit more. In return, the Mets were probably expecting something like a top 10 prospect in the Marlins organization. But we talk about the Marlins top prospects. They have in their, their number 10 ranked prospect is 6 Sanchez. They have Jordan Groshans at number 9. Like this farm system is absolutely loaded. I wouldn't be surprised if these prospects inflate up to probably close to the top 10 of the Mets organization. In comparison, Jesus Baez is the number 10 ranked prospect in the Mets organization. His grades, 45 hit, 55 power, 50 run, 60 arm, 50 field, overall 45. He's hitting 225 in rookie ball this year with two home runs. I wouldn't be surprised if both of these prospects end up as top 10 prospects or borderline top 10 prospects in the Mets organization. Now, of course, like I said, as a Mets fan, I, I wish that we got a little bit more for Robertson. Of course, I'm being a little bit greedy, but a lot of people, especially those in the Marlins, you know, that cover the Marlins are saying that it's an absolute haul. Fish on the Farm, the Marlins Miners organization, says it's a huge return for the Mets. Joe DeMeo, who covers a bunch of prospects in the Mets organization, said one scout was surprised he got moved for a rental uh, regarding Marco Vargas. I mean, this is actually probably a fair, fairly good trade for the Mets. I and mean, we're talking about Robertson, who's a free agent after this year. Hopefully they can go out and re-sign him. But, I mean, for the Mets, you guys clearly weren't going to make the playoffs. This is the beginning of the sell. And as a Mets fan, I am kind of happy that we're going this direction. We have a depleted system. We're obviously a bunch of teams games out. And with our payroll being so high, if we compete and we miss the playoffs, our first-round pick's going to drop spots. If we're able to secure a top-10 spot, and we're currently two and a half games out from the sixth position in all of baseball for the wild card, or for the lottery, excuse me, 
So if we're able to secure a top 10 pick, and if it's number six, our pick is going to stick at six. It's going to immensely help our farm system if we're able to go out and, and secure a top 10 pick. So I know it's going to stink this year, but our farm system is going to thank it for a lot of rental players, most of which we're probably not going to bring back. Tommy Pham, he's borderline going to get brought back in the next year. Robertson, he probably would have had a good shot to be brought back. Mark Canna, he's probably gone. Eduardo Escobar, he was gone. So getting two prospects from the Angels for Escobar, that was a good trade. Probably some bias in the seller's market. I probably thought the Mets could have get, gotten more for this uh, for David Robertson. So I'm going to say the Marlins won this trade. Overall trade grades, I'm going to give the Marlins an A-, minus, and I'm going to give the Mets a B. You know, I think that the, this return is really good. It's some inflation prospects. So that means that these prospects have a lot of potential to climb really high in the Mets organization and especially in all of baseball. So there's some good possibility this happens. And for the Marlins, you know what you're getting with Robertson. You're helping that bullpen, which is much needed. A minus, B. I want to know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. As always, hit that like button, subscribe. More trade deadline content coming for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Delicious.